These magnets fix my fridge for only $4. Do you have the RV style fridge, which is a gas electric style fridge, specifically the Norcold fridge like this one? You're gonna wanna save this video to refer back to, especially when you get that error code linking LIOP right after a big rainstorm or you washed your RV. By watching this quick video, you could save yourself hours of frustration, you could not lose all the contents in your fridge, and you don't have to call a mobile mechanic out and pay a big bill for only a few minutes of work. Step number one, turn off the fridge. Just push a button on the front. You're gonna wait five minutes before you turn it back on. While you're waiting for that, you're gonna go outside of the RV, remove the bottom panel, and see if there's any water inside of there. If there is, take a rag, wipe it up, leave the cover off, let it air dry. After five minutes, you turn the fridge back on to see if the error code goes away. If it doesn't, we're gonna go to step number two. In this step, we're going to turn the power off completely to the fridge. If you know which breaker turns your fridge off, we can turn that off. If you don't know which breaker turns your fridge off, we can go outside and pull the plug out that's behind that cover that you just wiped the water down from. We're going to wait five minutes again and see if the air code goes away after we plug the power back in or turn the breaker on. If we still have the problem, we'll go to step number three. Just make sure we have propane coming to the fridge. Check the propane tanks that they're full, all the valves are on, Come inside to your stove, light a burner, let it go for a minute to make sure you have fresh gas supply going past the fridge. After that, we'll try the fridge again. If it's still beeping, go to step four. This one is so easy, it's a little bit mind blowing. These magnets fix my fridge for only $4. Whoa! So what happens? There is a limit switch on the outside of the RV. There was a red light on that switch. That's what's giving the error code to the inside. Mine happens to be right behind this panel on the left. Sometimes you can see it when you open the big panel. There's one screw in that switch, and you go clockwise from it just a little bit, and that corner, there's a ball bearing behind that area that moves back and forth, and that'll trigger the limit switch. You need a set of magnets to drag that ball bearing back and forth to free it up. You'll hear it go click, click, light turns off, and your fridge turns on, and you're good to go. You need to make sure that the error code is beeping on the inside of the fridge, and the light is on on this box when you go to use the magnets back and forth. Otherwise, it won't reset back to the normal mode. I did try my Big Larry flashlight first because it was handy, hangs right up by our door. There's a magnet in the bottom of this, but it wasn't quite strong enough to pull that ball bearing back and forth. So I went to the hardware store, picked up these magnets, I stacked them together so they're extra strong. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can pick these up yourself. If you keep having to use these magnets, reset the switch in your RV, and it wasn't just a rainstorm or you power wash your RV and you got it wet behind there, you have a real problem with your fridge that these magnets are not solving the problem. You need to have someone come and look at the fridge so you can fix the real issue so it's working properly. If you wanna see more quick tips like this, watch this video next.